Melissa Lee. That, Mr. Speaker, I was taking a little swig of the water uh, when my turn actually came up. It's a great pleasure to uh, rise to speak on the third reading of the uh, Standards and Accreditation Bill, and I commend the Minister uh, for the hard work that he's actually uh, uh, given on this bill. And I, I'd like to begin by actually thanking um, everyone who has actually been um, you know, involved with the Select Committee process. As the chair of the um, uh, very uh, vibrant uh, Commerce Select Committee, uh, we have a very good um, um, committee process, and I'd like to thank the opposition as well as our government members uh, and the clerks at, uh, and the secretariat who have actually given a lot of hard work, um, uh, you know, getting this to uh, third reading. When this bill was brought before the Commerce Select Committee, sir, we, um, I think, had somewhere around 130 um, submissions, and we heard about 21 of them. And um, we have, um, as a committee, recommended a more flexible and uh, proportionate approach to managing um, actual and perceived conflicts of interest for members of standards development committees, which was actually raised as a big concern in the committee stages when we were debating this bill, sir. Uh, in addition, we have also made it clear that New Zealand will continue uh, to be involved in the development of international standards. And um, as I said earlier, the Commerce Committee undertook the role well, and I commend my colleagues uh, for their contribution and time and effort uh, to bring this bill back to the House, sir. So I would also like to make it very clear that standards are very, very important to New Zealand's economy and safety as a growing OECD economy. Standards are, um, are put in place to ensure that our homes uh, public buildings, playgrounds, electrical appliances, I even talked about uh, light bulbs in previous speeches about this, I think. Uh, electrical appliances and health services um, are, are in fact safe uh, for all, all New Zealanders. Standards can be used obviously to protect people and our environment, uh, but they also have the capacity to increase productivity and drive innovation. Um, and um, in addition, they are uh, generally um, voluntary um, our firms can choose to use them or support, uh, support a standard, uh, um, support competitiveness, productivity, and trade. And especially, you know, uh, with the advent of the Korean tra uh, free trade agreement that's, you know, uh, signed earlier in the year in March, and with the TPPA, we are actually dealing with uh, numerous countries that we are uh, working together as trade partners, and I think standards actually become more prominent and more important as a result. Um, if, for example, um you know, when we're talking about standards, an electrical product is marked as meeting a standard, it has satisfied the minimum safety requirements. That's what we're talking about, Sue. So therefore, it is easy to see why standards are, in fact, crucial for our safety. Um, the impact does have um, on our economy. I mean, there is huge impact on our economy as well, sir. Standards actually underpin billions of dollars of export, as I was alluding to um, prior to, uh, talking about TPP and um, uh, the free trade agreements with other nations, that you know, when we are talking about you know, exports, uh, uh, New Zealand firms um, are dealing in a competitive environment with international partners, sir, and standards actually become crucial. Standards provide access to markets and give quality assurance for the products and technologies um, that New Zealanders use on a daily basis, sir. Uh, standards improve the effectiveness, uh, safety, and reliability uh, of many goods and services used by consumers and businesses. It is clear that standards and accreditation make an important contribution uh, to a more productive and competitive economy. Uh, the new bill is designed to ensure that New Zealand standards um, um, conformance and accreditation system functions well and meets the needs of businesses, regulators, and consumers. Uh, the Standards and Accreditation Bill is part of the business growth agenda and is aimed at strengthening the development uh, and delivery of New Zealand's um, standards, just as fresh legislation is being looked at to tackle obsolete laws, loopy law, um, uh, rules, and out-of-date acts of parliament that are no longer needed in our modern and innovative um, society, sir. The new Standards and Accreditation Bill follows a comprehensive review uh, to ensure uh, our standard systems remain independent and sustainable. 
Um, so we sought stakeholder views on the effectiveness of current arrangements for standards and um, on options for changes um, to organizational arrangements and um, for how standards could be uh, developed and approved. And with this new bill, we will implement uh, those voices that were actually heard as a result of the stakeholder um, um, uh, consultation. In short, the new bill will better align standards development with important government priorities that are vital for our economy, such as innovation and trade facilitation. Uh, the focus of uh, standards and accreditation bill is preserving and strengthening what works with our current arrangements and improving and reforming what is lacking from, our, um, uh, from that. We are aiming to improve standard development uh, that has been slow to reform standards that are out of date as well. We are aiming here uh, in this house to give real outcomes to business and industry and it is vital that New Zealand continue to be involved in the development of international standards and maintain its linkages with the international uh, standards community, including the International Organization for Standardization, uh, the ISO, uh, and the International Electrotechnical Commission, the IEC. So, um, uh, through the Standards and Accreditation Bill, we aim to um, provide assurance that uh, products and services are in fact fit for purpose, uh, that standards play a crucial role in contributing to trade, innovation, health, um, and safety. Um, as chair of the Commerce Committee and a national MP, it's part of uh, an amazing work that the ministers um, um, in the House uh, have actually put together, and I'm very satisfied of the outcome, and so I commend this bill to the House. I call Claire Curran.